Hello, and thanks for joining me, Nicola Hume, for this, your whistle-stop tour of what it's like to move to Maidstone. Whether you're considering Kent or Cumbria, the one thing you need is a Move IQ property report. This is a fantastic data-rich deep dive into any individual home that you're considering and its surroundings. All you need is the postcode of the property and then click the link that we've added below. So, to Maidstone, it's the county town of Kent, approximately 30 miles to the southeast of London and offers a mix of rural living and modern amenities. It's the biggest town in Kent with a population of almost 172,000 people, a mix of retirees, young professionals and popular with families thanks to the great range of schools. The River Medway flows through the centre of Maidstone, linking it with Rochester and the Thames Estuary. It's been a settlement all the way back to Roman times and was once the home of Iggy the Iguanodon, a 125 million year old dinosaur whose cast can be found in the Maidstone Museum. Other historical attractions here include the nearby and very beautiful Leeds Castle, which is occasionally referred to as Ladies Castle, as so many queens of England have lived there. Modern day living offers an array of shopping in the town centre, including the open air Fremlin Walk and the Royal Star Arcade, which is the place for high end boutiques. There's a good choice of eating places from bistros and pubs to the appropriately named Leeds Castle View restaurant. Maidstone has a good leisure centre, an art gallery within the Maidstone Museum and the Hazlitt Theatre, known for its comedy performances. The town also hosts the annual Maidstone Fringe Festival, a celebration of local music, art and food. Fancy getting outdoors? Moat Park, a 450-acre green space in the heart of Maidstone. It's very popular with children thanks to the play areas and also has a stunning lake that attracts thousands of birds. Maidstone is a popular choice for commuters in London. Three stations offer trains direct into London as little as 45 minutes and there are regular trains to Ashford International for the Eurostar. Handy for mini breaks in Europe. Coaches and buses run into London too for a cheaper option and the M20 is within easy reach for drivers. If you work from home, even part-time, you'll want to know about broadband speeds, which aren't bad, albeit a tad slower than the national average. So what about property prices? As you'd expect for a commuter town in the southeast, prices are well above the national average. A semi will set you back around £330,000, detached homes average almost £490,000, and a terraced house will be around £260,000. It follows that Maidstone won't feature on the list of cheapest places to rent either, with averages hovering at £945 a month and flats averaging £840 a month. Living costs are only a shade less than London, with a single person's estimated monthly cost for bills, food and fuel at £780 a month, not including rent. Transport links may be good, but Maidstone's reputation for traffic means getting about can be slow. There's often a long wait for a bus. And it's worth knowing that the crime rate in Kent overall is high compared to the national average. This of course varies from place to place, which is why the Move IQ property report can be so useful in helping you get to know a specific area. Make sure you subscribe to the channel now and stay tuned for more guides to property hotspots. Do join me next time.